and we move from grief to hope, I'd like you to consider what you think God in Christ, in the power of the Spirit, is saying to the church. I'd like you to listen carefully as you seek the wisdom of God. We need that wisdom for these uncertain times. To introduce that, the psalm that begins our Psalter and is immediately after as our scriptures place it immediately after the book of Job has ended. This is a contemporary version of Psalm 1, a psalm of wisdom pointing out the two ways. Woe to us when we walk in the way of wickedness, when we bend our ear to the counsel of deceit and scoff at what is holy from the seat of pride. Blessings upon us when we delight in the truth of God and ponder God's law by day and by night, when we stand up for truth in the face of the lie, when we mouth no slogans and betray no friends. Then we shall grow like trees planted by streams of water that yield their fruit in due season, whose leaves do not wither. We struggle with evil in our hearts, tossed to and fro like chaff in the wind. A rootless people whose lives have no meaning, unable to stand when judgment comes, desolate outside the house of our God. May ways of wickedness perish among us. Forgive us, O God, and renew us. Lead us in paths of justice and truth, obedient to your wisdom and will, trusting in the hope of your promise. giver of life. Save us from the desert of faithlessness and nourish us with the living water of your word that we may bring forth fruit that will last. So I invite you in to consider what you are hearing of the way of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.